What's going on, everybody? We wanted to figure out what is going on with all the hype surrounding chlorophyll water, right? You can't deny that you keep hearing about it. You go on TikTok, you go on different platforms, and you're just hearing so much about it. So much so that we wanted to drink chlorophyll water for a week just to see how we felt, what are our results, and also save you a lot of time so you can know. And trust me, you're going to want to hang around and find out what we found out over the next week with drinking chlorophyll water. I don't like ice, so if anybody has a problem with that, keep it to yourself. I have sensitive teeth. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to it. We're going to be talking about some things that I discovered that you might want to know that help you find out if chlorophyll water is going to work for you. And I know you're curious because you're just like us. You want to know what's real and what's not. So how we're going to break the video down is we're going to do the good, the great, the unexpected. And starting it off, I want to make sure I mention this. And this is the, the, the good for me. Might be great for you, but it's good for me because I was a little skeptical about it because of the way that it looks. I know some people are more taste people um, than I am, I guess. So I was like, oh, okay. I can pretty much drink anything as long as there's a health benefit to it, you know? So, but it, the, the taste. I was expecting kind of like this earthy feel, this, this, I don't know, like earthy metallic taste. And it didn't have any of that. You could taste a little bit of like tartness. I can't even say tart. It was just this indescribable, just a little, little smidge. Nothing too bad, so I was kind of excited about that because it made it drink more pleasant. And the beauty of it also is that it mixes in well with so many different drinks. This weekend, I mixed it in with one of my water recipes. Another great thing I want to mention is this. Because it has that nice green emerald color, a lot of people will see you drinking it and it's a great conversation starter. So when you're by the pool, if you're out, people are going to know what you're drinking, right? So if you're a conversationalist like me, it's such a great thing. Also, it's a great way to spread the word on being healthy, so we cannot undermine that. So we did the good just to get things started about chlorophyll water. So let's start talking about the great parts about chlorophyll water. You know, if you're trying to lose weight, you're focusing on making sure you get your electrolytes in, chlorophyll water will definitely solve that. You know, I'm always working out six, seven days a week, and one of the biggest things I'm always focusing on is hydration. Hydration is a huge thing. And with chlorophyll water, you don't have to worry about the additives, the sugars, or anything else that they normally put into some of those sports drinks that carry those electrolytes. So that was a primo thing. So I have to acknowledge that. That is definitely one of the great things I discovered about doing, using this for the last five days. So moving on to the next great, it's gonna be that green color about it. That's what makes chlorophyll chlorophyll, right? Like whenever you eat anything that's a green veggie, you're getting a little bit of chlorophyll in every single bite, right? And I don't know if you know that or not, but what's happening here is you're getting a lot of chlorophyll at one time, which is not a bad thing, as long as you're being careful with how much you're taking in and you're serving whatever chlorophyll you decide to get um, or decide to use, whether it be the powder form or the dropper form. I use the dropper, it was just easier, faster. I like to make it simple, right? Um, you get in so many great veggies in that drink. So I can't deny that. It's all about saving time and also making sure we're being responsible, responsible for the things that we can be responsible for. So that is another great thing that I found. I'm a guy and I'm concerned about how my skin looks. I want to make sure that I'm representing myself the best way possible so I can feel more confident. It's not all about looks, but you can't deny the fact that you feel better when you feel that your skin looks better. So I was really curious to see about this, see how this would go over the next week. And... Here's the verdict. I can honestly say that I just feel that my skin pops just a little bit more. And I'm not saying a lot of it, but I definitely feel like my skin pops a little bit more. And at first I was thinking, well, maybe it's the sun, or maybe I'm not getting in too much sun, or not enough sun, or maybe it's this, or maybe it's that. But I can't deny it, I feel like my skin just looks better. Sounds weird for me to even say that on camera, but it's the truth. So gotta say, that's definitely a something great. So with anything, there's always the unexpected. And uh, here's some unexpected things that happen. First up, and this is just something that I've never, I haven't experienced myself, but just from reading and paying attention, this may make you more susceptible to sunlight. So that hasn't been 100% confirmed, so I can't really say yay or nay, but I do think it's one worth mentioning, and that was an unexpected thing. But definitely consult with your doctor, medical physician, whomever you consult about any type of information about that before starting this. So that definitely was something that's unexpected. You know, forget it. I don't have a choice. This one caught me off guard. It's definitely unexpected. I didn't expect for it to bother my stomach as much as it did. I know I read some things that said some bowel irritability. No, it, it, it definitely bothered your boy's stomach a little bit more than what I liked. And um, well, since we're getting to know each other, um, it made some things uh, a different uh, tint. Use your imagination. Stomach bothers you, some things start looking different colors. 
leaving it there. Definitely unexpected. One of those moments where you kind of freak out, then you realize I'm drinking chlorophyll water. And lastly, I mentioned that, you know, I'm really paying attention to my skin and my appearance. And also with your appearance goes your teeth. If you are concerned about your teeth being ultra wide or really white, just be aware that I've noticed that, you know, I've had to brush a little bit more than normal. And I'm a three times a day brusher just because there is a little greenish tint to them. So definitely something that caught me off guard. And when it happened and I looked in the mirror, I thought it was crazy. And I'm like, wait, 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 what? What's going on? And then I brushed my teeth and it went away. So if you're going to try chlorophyll water, just like I did, I would recommend you drink it before you brush your teeth. And then we can kind of brush it off. And I'm just so used to drinking water throughout the day that I just wasn't even thinking about that order of events. But I do want to say this. I'm not the biggest person to believe in a lot of these medical claims with a lot of fad diets and flat fad and things like that. But I do notice that what's happened is, is as much water as I typically drink, I was drinking more, right? So which isn't a bad thing because so many of us are dehydrated. So I think it could be a great thing just that alone that these might be some possible things. In fact, there were some definite things when we were talking about, I get into that. But the fact that you're gonna be drinking my water and alone in itself is just a big deal. I wanna thank you so much for watching this and getting close with me as I opened up to you all. Um, you're gonna to wanna to hang around here. We got some great stuff coming your way. And the best thing about the content on our channel is we get to the point, we don't like to waste a lot of time and we like to make it fun.